Hey guys, my name is Hope, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the laundry room and sprinkle some tips in along the way. This might be your first time ever doing laundry, that's okay. I didn't really do much laundry myself either before I moved here. So when you first come to home, you'll receive your laundry card. And we don't use coins, we just use the card. All you do is put it on this little table and then you just click start. So this is how you load money onto your card. You put it in the card holder and then you press value for how much money you wanna add. And for every time you click it, it adds an extra $10. So I wanna add $30, so I'll click it three times. And you can either pay by debit or credit or by using bills. Make sure to register your card just in case you ever lose it so that you could transfer your old money onto the new card. You do have to pay $10 for the new card, but you do get a $5 credit already on your new card. So now you're going to want to load your laundry into the washing machine. Make sure not to put your Tide Pods in the washer drawer and to toss them in. I don't really know what this does, but I put it into this cup and apparently it makes your clothes smell good. While my laundry is washing, I'm gonna give you some tips. So for the first tip, make sure to read all labels. So on this jacket, read the label in case it has special instructions on washing. And also make sure to take off any pins so they don't get messed up in the wash. Unless you like sharing, other people might use your laundry detergent if you leave it here. I would suggest either leaving it on top of the washing machine you're using or bringing it back upstairs with you. Before you dry your clothes, make sure to remove the lint, which would just be right over here. That way your clothes will dry. A little fun fact is I didn't know to do that. In the first few weeks of school, I was wondering why my clothes weren't drying. And then I realized that that's what you have to do. Once your washing machine is done, you can move your clothes into the dryer. Use dryer sheets to keep your clothes static free and feeling soft. For the amount of clothes that I'm washing, I would use between two to four dryer sheets. Timing is everything. Make sure to dedicate around two hours to doing your laundry. The washing machine takes about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how many clothes are in there and the type of soap you're using. And then the dryer takes about 50 minutes. And make sure not to leave your clothes in there for too long because they will get moldy or crumbly and you just don't want that to happen and then have to rewash your clothes. It's really important to come right away once your clothes are ready because unfortunately people don't run on your schedule, they run on their own schedule. So they might be waiting here like one or two minutes before and if all the washing machines are empty, they're just gonna take your clothes out and put it on top and I know you really don't want that to happen. Set a timer for your washer dry cycle and come down a minute or two before the timer goes off. You can easily set a timer on your phone or use the mysparkle.com site to get text notifications so you never forget your laundry. The site will also tell you which washers and dryers are currently available or in use so it's a great tool to help you plan. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and leave any questions you have down in the comments below. Peace out, homies.